In this video, I install this Mesh Pro outdoor access point right here for extra outdoor Wi-Fi goodness. So I have a lot of access points by now, um, indoor, outdoor access point on the farms, but there's one area which is behind the camera here where there really isn't great coverage. I do have some Wi-Fi, but there isn't great. So I thought uh, Unify sent me this Outdoor Mesh Pro access point. So this is the big daddy. Now this is not a new product, but it's still very current and it's still very powerful. So this is, I'm gonna read this because I can't remember all these details. This is uh, 802.11ac, so it's not Wi-Fi 6, but it's got a 3x3 MIMO antenna um, with a 1.7 gigabit throughput if you uh, are using it, um, you know, up to that. So obviously many, not many devices are gonna get that, but you know. Uh, the cool thing is that it has 360 degree so all around coverage. Now I'm gonna use it on top of the carport here on the eave there, uh, and it'll be majority that way, of course, not so much behind it, but it does have a range of up to 183 meters. So that's about 6,000 feet or something, definitely. Um, now I'm gonna take you on the whole journey up through the attic and uh, show you <laughs> drilling and all sorts because I want you to have the full experience and then we'll set it up in Home Assistant um, and then I'll have even more Wi-Fi goodness on the farm. Many more acres of coverage. So before we go up to the attic, let's just have a look what's actually in the box because it's kind of kind of neat device. Um, so this is the old school packaging, so it's got the, the brown cardboard, and in here is the antenna, like it, or the access point. It, it is quite large, as you can tell. It's, uh, this is a serious piece of kit. Now the cool thing though, uh, one of the things I do like about this is something I might use later on, is that it does have two. So it has a, an input, obviously, for the signal, and you can power a secondary thing from it. Um, or also not power, but have a signal to it. Um, I don't believe it's PoE, the secondary. So um, I can power it and then I have something else running off it as well. So that would be kind of neat if I need to. Um, so this is a pole mount that's on here. I'm not going to use the pole mount. I'm going to use it as a wall mount, which is those holes there. And then it just has an, uh, a um, um, PoE adapter, which I'm not going to use because we do have PoE from the uh, industrial switch. And then there's the, uh, the the brackets there for the pole mount, right there. And obviously a power port and um, some screws if you want to put it on a pole. So that's all there is in it, but yeah, it's a big, big unit. All right, we're going to go up there. This is my son's room and um, that's where the access is for the entire roof space. So I'm just gonna put the drill and the cable up. Hang on, I'll come get you. Two seconds. Need a lot of cable. Last time I had five meters short, this time I got 15 meters extra. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this is totally safe, by the way. Okay, it's fine. Okay. 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 There we go, and then I turn on my headlight. I mean, head torch, headlight. All right, I'll just get you, hang on. It's fine. Oops. All right, here we go. So, I'm just gonna put you up here as well. This is, um. there we go. It's fine. Cool. There you go. Bit of roof for you. Anyway, we gotta go all the way down the other end to where the carport is. So that's down there somewhere. It's about 100 degrees up here. Oh, so you're gonna be a bit seasick from this, I suspect. That's where the daylight comes in through the side of the roof. There's a few Lovely holes, Australian build quality. Now you might notice there's a few cables just lying on the on the well floor here or the, the top of the ceiling. All this insulation that you see, I'll show you. All this insulation here is got to go. So when we do that, I will do some proper um, cable management on the rafters. 
All right, so this is the end wall right there. That's the one that faces the carport, um, well, inside of the carport. So we're gonna drill a hole about uh, there, I think, roughly. And, oh, actually on the other side, there. Um, there. That's it, right there. And then um, put the cable up through that, and then I'm gonna drag it all the way across the carport and uh, then install the the mesh pro on the outside of the carport when I showed you before. But you can see here, I'm just gonna show you, cable everywhere. And over there, in the, oh, roughly, over there where there's a bit of light, that's where it goes down into the industrial switch. And it's bloody hot up here. It's summer in Australia, roof space get really hot. But yeah, it's uncomfortable, it's rubbish. But um, I'm gonna drill a hole and um, then I'll uh, see you on the outside, I hope. All right, we'll see if it shows up here. The new Mesh Pro access point. Well, there it is, ready to add UAP AC Mesh Pro up the top right there, as you can see, it shows up. So if you click add, as it turns out, nothing happens. I think there's a bug there somewhere. So uh, we'll just go to the devices instead because it'll show up there as well. So I'll give it a minute, and it'll show up here. There it is, UAP ACM Pro, pending adoption. So if you click on that, you get the uh, familiar slide out here, the menu, and we'll just go adopt and update. So because this is, uh, see, version 3.9 is quite an old version of the firmware because these devices have been out for quite a while, but so we will update that to the latest, and then we'll adopt it into our UDM Pro network controller. And through the magic of editing, this shouldn't take too long. So there we go, adopting. And this is the same process as for any other access point. Uh, it's now updating the firmware to version 5 point whatever it was. And then in a minute, it will have updated as well. And we have a look at all the different uh, settings for this particular access point. It's getting ready. And now it's online. So now we have full access to the new uh, Mesh Pro access point that uh, was just installed. And there are the usual settings here for an access point. So there's some history, which you won't have any of that yet. Uh, the uplink, we can see here now it is connected to the lounge room switch port number six, and it's using 3.8 watts. So it's a fairly uh, power hungry, you know, all things considered relatively to other access points. And here's the air stats, so you can see here how it's performing. Transmit power, 22 decibel, uh, up to 30 uh, decibel. And then there's a bunch of other um, menu options here that you can look at as well. It's, it's pretty standard for an access point for Unify. If we go to settings, we I always give it a device name. So this particular one I'm going to call carport because, well, it's located in the carport. 
and then you can uh, set the channel width on the radios. Now, sometimes you want to do this. I often leave them on uh, default to start with to make sure that they are performing okay. If not, then I'll start changing the channel width and the channels on them. Uh, auto channel, again, will make Unify choose which channels uh, to use based on other access points nearby. And that's it. Um, that's all there is to it, to setting it up. Hooray. That's it, it's in. Again, not a whole lot to do on the actual software and plugging inside, um, but you did get to see my attic space. Yes, I know that's the wrong cable that, that goes outside. This is not a UV rated cable for outdoors. I have made a video on why you should use outdoor rated cables. In my case, most of this is not outside and I'm going to renovate my carport soon anyway. But yeah, please do use outdoor rated cable or at least put them in conduit if you're gonna use this. So I hope you like this little video. Um, please subscribe if you want to uh, see more and if you like the content and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. In this video I installed this 3x3 MIMO Outdoor Access Point Pro thingy there. In this video I installed this Access Mesh Pro thing. In this video, I installed the Outdoor Mesh Access Pro... No, that's not what it's called.